the Home Assistant September 2025 update is finally here. And let me tell you, this release is packed with fresh features, improvements and even some fun little surprises. From dashboards that make your smart home look futuristic, to automations that are easier to build than ever. This release feels like it has something for everyone. So grab your coffee, or in my case a smart mug that nags me when it's too cold, and let's jump right in. Before I dive into what's new, let me first tell you that this video, as always, is recorded on the beta release of Home Assistant. I'm just about to update to the beta 2, while everything should end up in the final release of Home Assistant. At the end, there may be some changes, some tweaks, some things may get postponed it for the future releases, and other things may just appear here that were not planned to appear. Just a brief note. First up, automations just got a major glow up. In the new automation editor, there is now a sidebar that shows all your triggers, conditions, your actions. Everything is in the scrollable neat list. Click on one and boom, it appears right there. No more hunting around or opening endless menus. And if you are on a mobile, this sidebar transforms into bottom sheet that slides up smoothly. It feels modern fast and, dare I say, less painful than the old way of scrolling up and down like you are doom scrolling on the Twitter. Whether you are YAML wizard or just getting started, this makes editing automations feel way more intuitive. Now this one is big, the all new home dashboard. Think of it as your command center for everything smart in your house. It brings together climate, lightning, security and media and even energy all in one view. Want quick controls? Pin your favorite devices. Want more details? Tap on room or a selection and that's it. It even shows weather, so you know when to close your windows before automations beat you to it. While it's still marked experimental, it already feels polished and is a huge step towards making Home Assistant not just powerful, but also super friendly to daily use. This is one update I think a lot of people will fall in love with. Tile cards are basically the Swiss army knife of dashboards, and now they've got upgraded into full-on superheroes. Here's what's new. You can now add history charts right into your tiles. Curious if your cat tripped the motion sensor 17 times last night? Now you'll know. Fans got new controls, including oscillation and direction, because yes, airflow is a science. Custom buttons let you run automation, scripts or even toggle devices directly from the tile. And those valves you can now open, close or set exact position without leaving the card. And my personal favorite, a date selector card. Finally, you can make that smart home calendar feel actually smart. It's like developers looked at every little thing we were missing on tile cards and said, yeah, let's just add all of that. Let's talk integrations, the life and soul of Home Assistant. New this month is Seco Pool Dose Integration. Keep your pool water balanced without turning into chemistry teacher. Or Sleep as Android, perfect for automating your bedroom lights or coffee machine based on your sleep cycle. And for the barbecue masters out there, to grill support means you'll never undercook or overcook that state again except in case that you actually want to do that. Now for the upgrades. Husqvarna auto mowers now track blade usage and errors, so you'll know exactly when to give your lawn body some TLC. Reeling cameras, as always, with some new features. Now they let you control chimes, adjust volume and even toggle silent mode. Perfect for those times when notifications won't stop dinging. PlayStation Network integration can now send notifications. Just imagine your PS5 can proudly announce your trophies to the rest of your house or just spam your PSN friends. Unify integration lets you toggle individual switch ports, finally giving network nerds the control they've been begging for. Oh, and some integrations hit the new quality milestones. NUT and Uptime Kuma are now platinum, while Mastodon and Ring climbed up to bronze. That's a solid achievement. 
there are also some fun little extras. For example, you can now add an analog card. Yes, a real round clock face, because sometimes the old school just looks cooler. You can drop it right into your dashboard for that retro touch. Storage Insights also got smarter. They now show exactly what's eating up your disk space. Spoiler alert, it's usually your camera recordings. But at least now you'll know before your system starts yelling at you. Ok, time for the slightly less fun part, breaking changes. Don't worry, nothing too scary this month. Sensors using micro symbols like microsevers or micrograms have had their encoding updated. If you export data, you might need to tweak your queries. Switchbot vacuum cleaners no longer report battery stats the old way. There is a new shiny battery sensor for that. And Yale August locks now need OAuth reauthentication. Translation is you just log back in once and you are good to go. It's mostly housekeeping changes, but good to be aware before something stops working unexpectedly. And that's Home Assistant 2025.9 release. We got the automation editor sidebar, a shiny new home dashboard, superhero tile cards, loads of new integrations, and yes, even an analog clock. Honestly, it feels like one of those updates where the developers sprinkled a little something for everyone. Now, before I wrap up, I must say thanks to all the wonderful people supporting me and becoming a YouTube channel members. You are amazing. But also, thank you to every single one of you who watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. It really means a lot. If you want to support the channel, you can become a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or check out my merchandise store for some fun goodies. And of course, you can always send me super thanks. And I'll be super thankful for that. So what do you think of this release? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.